Hello everybody, welcome to the final round of 64 match of the CCL Season 46. In this match we've got Hesse and his Chaos versus Moose Fort and his Skaven. In the booth with me are Fine and Artemis. Hello! Here we are in the last game of the round of 64, yes. And that's a lot of movement rats. <laughs> yeah, it's a crazy rat team. <laughs> like, there is even one on the bench, the one turner. And is that an IG6 rat? Yep, he's got an ad move 10 edge 6 leap. Jesus. He's got an edge 4 storm vermin. He's got another movement 10. <laughs> another movement 10 gutter. And then a move 10 edge 5 sprint. It's a crazy team, isn't it? It's, maybe it's not even that good, right? It's, maybe it's not even that good because there's a bit too much, uh, like, there's not a Saka good, well, there's a Saka good, but it's not that good, movement turn, like, it's, it's not that good, right? Um, yeah, but how do you stop this team from scoring? That's a question, because everybody's at the plus movement. You, you kill them all. Yep. That's, yep. Yeah, that's usually a good option. Yep, just hope just hope they snake on their one turn and uh, and kill them all. You don't, you don't get sacked on your drive. You kill as many rats as you can, you ignore them scoring, then you win the toss in overtime. That's it, the and then you just walk Artemis, it in again. Uh, Artemis Black, more than 3,000 games in CCL giving us the tips that we will never uh, get ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> that, literally it. That, that's their blueprint to winning. Other than, you know, dicing the pants off them and killing every rat. Because they ain't stopping them scoring. This is an amazing foul. Look at this. Holy moly. Yeah, they did, J. Bazza, but it's to get this foul, right? Yeah, there he comes, the foul! That's a hell of a foul, to be fair. <laughs> good foul, yeah. I've done that, that foul. Good foul, uh, I, I would two. do that foul. I yeah. would have done that uh, one too, yes. Yep, great yes. foul. <laughs> and I think the Apple is a uh, fail, yes. yes. Yes, that's a very good foul. Very good game. <laughs> wow. Equity shifting. <laughs> that makes beating them up more difficult, doesn't it? <laughs> so, Somewhat, leaping, yeah. leaping with IE6 means that you also do, you know, some uh, Circo de Soleil thing I mean, while you leap. <laughs> you get extra animations. Should we go back in time and talk about why the fuck that guy was able to be fouled? Yes, I mean, that is that is the question, certainly. Like, you should definitely be... Like, this is the thing, like, who did he pile on, like, a fucking lineman? Like, it's it's mental, isn't it? Like, you know he's got a dirty player, and, like, he was able to set up this massive foul. Like, that was genuinely terrible to allow that to happen. So, no offence, and I'm sure he's a lovely fella, but... I was getting best player killed because you were shit. Yes. That was a mistake. Yeah. Big that mistake. A huge mistake. That's what we call doing a Mr. Page. <laughs> oh, God. Can we stop uh, talking about the olives on the pizza? As a Spanish person, I feel really offended about that. <laughs> he, hasn't, he hasn't done a full Mr. Page because he hasn't got a second piling on to do it again this turn. <laughs> oh, dear. Do you, you want my vote? What's this, Dimmy? Oh, there's the poll for the olives on pizza or not. No. No. What the hell, olives on pizza? Jesus. To be fair, olives on anything can fuck right off. Yeah. In a salad, they're alright. I'm sure they are for people who eat salads. Oh, this is a smart people. <laughs> they don't get fed by uh, kebab uh, every day. <laughs> I eat the odd. I eat the odd salad, you know. I'm, I'm sometimes a vegetarian. <laughs> I, guess. I eat green leaves. Like sort of counts as a salad. <laughs> there's right such a thing then. as a green right leaf then. salad, right? Like people people say that as a as a, as a phrase. Oh, well, hello, Dave. You ever wondered why your name is Dumb Dave? 
That's why. Olives and chobies on pizza. Jeez. <laughs> Good timing with the sometimes a vegetarian. <laughs> Answer the poll. This poll. Do you order olives on a pizza? Well, no, because I never order a pizza, so that's easy for me. I mean, that is a good point. Very rarely do I have a pizza. A cruel joke to play on two lists. Oh, really, Ali Raider? Is the deep fried Mars bar a cruel a joke to play guy. on two lists? Or is, there, no, is, that no, what no. is that how you've spun it? <laughs> no, no, that's, that's yeah. how you like uh, to do it, but uh, no, for the language but... in Spain, people are sort of the uh, pizzas with olives. The the only joke to play on tourists is that when they show up to buy one, they're all sold out to the fat Scottish people. <laughs> Which is true. I don't know why uh, people say, oh, it's for the tourists, it's for the tourists. I've seen more than one 100% uh, Scottish life form enjoying a deep fried uh, Mars bar. <laughs> I haven't. In the 12 years I've been living here, I haven't. Well done. Curiosity might have got the better of me after 12 years, to be fair. Yes, but they are not so at that many places. There is a place up the road Oof. from my house that is famous to have the best uh, different Mars bars. But I don't know if the best is in the same meaning I will use the word the words the best. <laughs> that was a big that was a big uh, removal for the rats. That was a good one. Easier later, mullering each other. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bunch of I, I don't, I don't believe you, Ali. Yeah, he's just trying to be a, a cool Scotsman. <laughs> Scottish independence would just be them turning the entire city of Glasgow into the world's <laughs> biggest cardiac ward. <laughs> That's so true. That I'm not even offended. <laughs> Especially because I don't live in Glasgow. You know, because I have clubs. And I know how to read. <laughs> There's another cast. This is mad. This, this is like a brutal game. This really is, yeah. Both apples gone. Turn four. Lords of Kaz. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not a fan of all this. Good olives are uh, nice by themselves, eating them like a snack. Also, they're very low uh, calories and very filling, so that's good. I'm sure all of those things are true, but they taste like olives. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah that's, that tends to happen a lot, yes. <laughs> Wow, sad. Okay, I mean that. Like, I can't. I can't agree with you there, Satterfield. <laughs> oh, Satterfield, I have the idea that Jesus, another uh, kill, that you will love a good manchi box here from one of the chips here in Scotland. A proper manchi box. <laughs> Literally everything that they sell in a box. See, now this pylon, fair enough, right? If, if he had pylon here, then you would pile on this one. But, like, that initial pylon, like, and, you know, be a bit exposed. Fair enough, that would be okay. But that, that the pylon on the lino that got him fouled into death was, was terrible. Has he forgotten this beast, man? Maybe. <laughs> Has he zoomed in like... Because this is a long way back, isn't it? It's... Yeah, he's just completely forgotten him. <laughs> zoomed in like a pleb. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with olives? They taste of olives, Tony. <laughs> yes. If olives tasted of something else, I might eat them. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you buy olives, cheap enough olives, you know, you, you get your wish. Acquired taste is just called for shit anyway, isn't it? <laughs> there we go, hitting another gutter. Lovely. Hey, cool 
have considered a reroll in that. Yeah, you could have done. Two rerolls. Yeah, you could have done. Two turns. <laughs> Again, I don't play this. <laughs> But vod vodka helps pretty much everything. What a shit dodge that was. Good snack pizza, like pizza and chips and snacks. <laughs> that would have been a shit dodge if he wasn't edge busted. Yep. Yep. Uh, the rat coach just realizing he had like 400 rerolls. <laughs> like, I might as well. Might as well. He, pr he probably wants to run away with this guy, but then he he'll alert him to the presence of this beast man if he does. <laughs> <laughs> oh it's amazing that he goes from there to there, from pro. Jesus. It's mad, isn't it? Yeah. Bongo. That's a bit crap, isn't it? I think he should have... Uh, well, I don't think. He should have moved this one, like, first to here to make it harder to break through and get in front. But, I mean, he's got edge 5 for dodging, basically, so, you know, I can't really screen against him. He is, however, making a guard... diagonal guard cage. Yeah, yeah, well done. So, uh, so if Yak wants to get some lessons... <laughs> he's the man to go to. Yeah. Or, you know, anyone else good. Yeah. Be a relevant foul. Can you get a three D? Sure looks like it. Yeah. Some people will surprise you though. <laughs> Yes, good good luck with that trend. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. If anyone had anything to say to train, now would be a very good time <laughs> to say it. You might not get another chance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, D and D is cool. Oh, <laughs> it's going to be amazing, train. Don't worry. <laughs> Purple jumper. <laughs> <laughs> It was it was Kyan even, Dimmy. It wasn't even Cyan or Cyan, it was Kyan. So there you go. Kyan. Hey mm -hmm. Trey. One of your favourite things is happening. A shit one turn defense. <laughs> Kyan. I like it. Yeah. Oh, he's hanging yeah. on mind. Oh, yeah, I didn't notice he, he had a fucking natty on the bench this entire time. No, there's a different train now, Tren. <laughs> you could actually just call Tren Tren, uh, and that would be... I said Trey! I said Trey, oh, I didn't said say Trey. Train. Oh, okay. The other one's just Trey, there's no N. Well, there I mean, he's N got an N, I'm ignoring it. <laughs> but it's just like is... I'm ignoring how to say your name, Train. <laughs> <laughs> People just get to get called whatever the fuck I name them. <laughs> 
I am the king of one turn defence, thanks Dean. There isn't an entire remote de dedicated to my ineptitude. He could have pushed and got an extra push, couldn't he? Didn't bother. Hope he fails the extra GFI. Chris Dimi always makes a perfect defense with the one turns. The problem is when he is the one trying to score the one turn. I think there were two players. Why not just go? For that? I guess. I guess at least this time it's not. At least this was not in a. Oh not my god! Then you six this. fail. No, it's not because it's such five. So that was just terrible, wasn't it? He could have got an extra push. Hope he fails the GFI. Oh my god, he did. He did, and he failed the reroll. He already used the reroll. There you go. Oh my god, absolute justice. Absolute justice. Amazing. That that should have been a push, and then he would have filled these two and got a third. Well, there you go. Absolute glorious justice. He cursed himself by playing shit. Both got three removals. Six, nine, eleven, and three. Oh wow. Nine. Oh my god, okay, the chaos are pretty much up shit creek, aren't they here? Oh they knew. Um I don't know them. Debur. Yeah, CTLM. 105 games. So I see 67% with 105 games. That is smart. And do you know what else they'll say, Trent? <laughs> it's gonna be amazing, guys! <laughs> I just went back to check before I, like, shit on someone for it. But uh, the reason he failed that one turn is because he threw a pass instead of just picking up with a different gutter runner and handing it off. Oh, wow. So doubly bad. <laughs> Triply bad. <laughs> no, doubly bad. The, the, the normal gutter runners that were in by the LOS could have just gone and picked it up and handed it off, and then he picked it up with the one all the way at the back and threw a pass. I mean, Andy could have Andy could have got an extra push, so he did, yeah, he did two things wrong. Two reasons why he lost. Well, not why he lost. Why? Why he? Why he failed the one turn? He hasn't lost at all. Sorry, he's probably going to win, right? He's still he's two men up, and he's got he's got Skaven, so he's probably going to win. But you know, double for. I mean, he's lost his good removal guy. Yeah. So we'll see how badly he gets fucked by return blitzes. <laughs> Here he could have blocked with block, yep. Yeah, could have done, couldn't he? Oh wow. Yeah, it must be an alt, mustn't it? 100, 100 games, it's gotta be. Well, it doesn't have to be. Oh, he could have just come from Must be an alt, must be an alt, then he's been more than once in the cup. Yeah, it must, it must have been. Five games. And Zach, it's not you, is it, Zach? Q a fort? Must have played more Blood Bowl than than that. Oh wow, dub skulls. Imagine if he quaddies there, he just loses maybe. Well, no, still not. <laughs> still not. I mean, possibly red hair. Possibly, like I would be. Uh, I would be pretty, pretty much better than other people after a hundred games. I'm pretty sure. Because like I read the rules before I started playing Blood Bowl. Which would put me probably top ten percent of CCL. <laughs> Just reading the rules. Try hasn't read the rules, and like he's won chalice twice. I didn't read the new rules. Like I read the original rules. Like a, which a bit you know the basis of the game, but I didn't read the the new rule book to see the changes. I just learnt them on the fly. Rule book twenty twenty. I didn't have bother. I know I'm not going to play table tabletop. So until rule book three, there is no reason for me to know the rules. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> exactly, Tom. Really. For a second, I read the purple chest like he had, he had been reading the rules for 10 years. <laughs> it's an odd strategy going on right now, right? It is, yeah. Yeah, I'm not really understanding it. This, this very much looks like he's just banging it in. Hmm. Because his defense went so well the first time. Like, why shouldn't you be able to stall? You're scaven. Like, it doesn't... I guess he's maybe he's scared of this, Arch 5. Lodge. Coming taking his balls. It's pretty weird though, isn't it? I haven't yeah. made it yet to me. So in case you you want to go back to that earlier question, how you beat this Skaven team, this is how you beat this Skaven team. Where yeah. they just give you the ball and say, here, if you score, you win. Yeah. Okay, he's he's going for the G car uh strategy school. <laughs> It's weird, isn't it? I. Uh, uh, <laughs> there was any need for any of that? No, no it absolutely was not. Advantage. He just he just potatoed off and banged it in. Maybe he thought he was one nil up. Yeah. <laughs> it yeah, just maybe. didn't pay any attention to the first half. Yeah, yeah maybe. maybe. Yeah. Wait, how is it a draw right now? <laughs> okay, he just did it one time, you know, click, right click, and so on, went for a coffee. Okay, second half. Uh, no, Ansi, there would be odd decisions if they'd all made the right ones. <laughs> oh. He forgot he didn't have a wizard. Yeah, that, well, that's a good point, right? Just wants a babe for the chaos. Now it's nine versus nine, isn't it? Yeah. Even Reddit has questions about this strategy. <laughs> I mean, I would say that the more damning thing would be <laughs> this Reddit doesn't have questions about this strategy. <laughs> oh, harsh. <laughs> didn't, didn't learn from exposing his uh, mighty blow tackle. No. Nope. The first time. No. Nope. <laughs> like, yep, that'll do. I'll just leave him out front by himself. <laughs> to get mighty blowed in the face. Yep. Oh no, he's he's giving him a friend that doesn't really help him at all. Yes. Yeah, you're a little bit behind, I guess, on but yeah. Oh, and he's going for the ball sack. And he's failed. Oh dear. Go go on, Tony. Please, Tony, don't tell us that your star player is your penis. <laughs> I'm I'm guessing that's what his star player is, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm praising for a ban. <laughs> oh god. Oh, the double H E F S. If you did it in a Walmart, probably nothing happened. That's another day. Oh, no, no, yeah, no, don't, don't say it, Tony. Don't say it, Tony. Don't say it, Tony. Don't, don't, don't say it. Oh, there you go. He's removed. He's removed. Finally, got hit by Mighty Blow. Went for the balls like last turn. Yeah, maybe there's some something. Maybe Moose Fort really has only played like a hundred games and doesn't understand how the cup works. <laughs> He's trying to win in regular time. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Let's go and have a look now. See if he said anything in the playoff schedule. Tophagos. <laughs> was it Tophagos? It was Tophagos. <laughs> oh man. Nope, oh, another one gone.
Maybe it's his first game of Blood Bowl? No, I'm only joking. Uh, he on. was asking questions in the Discord about how the cup works. Wow. Yeah, maybe just a Blood Bowl savant then. Or maybe he's got move up and add up on every single gutter runner. <laughs> but that's still, that's still incredible, isn't it, to be fair, for about 100 games. Even if he has come from, like, you know, fumble or tabletop or whatever, it's still good. EAB doesn't like you, apparently. No! Wow, robbed. <laughs> maybe maybe he's the fiancé of uh, Superfed. Maybe, yeah, yeah. Ah, thanks, EAB. Yeah, 105. He enjoyed his <laughs> first ever cup game. <laughs> <laughs> yep. He's going to have a chance here, isn't he? He's going to have a chance. Yes, he's going to have some red dice action. Yeah. Oh. Oh, he's already committed the Psaka. Oh, dear. Maybe he's not going to have some red dice action then, eh? It's going to be amazing, guys! I need to play boringly safe. Yeah, I think I think that was definitely the time to appeal. Don't worry, Azamas. Artemis lost in his first ever cup game. And his second. And his third. And his fourth. And his fifth. And his sixth. I did not. <laughs> I've gone too far. <laughs> I, I did, you were alright until the third, I think. I can't remember. <laughs> Didn't you lose versus Goblins twice? No. Doesn't count. <laughs> I mean, to, to, to be fair, I didn't actually lose against Goblins twice. It's just funny to say it. We never, we never finished the game the first time. I think I would have lost, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was, uh, it crashed because of an overtime bug. So we were going into overtime, and uh, there used to be a bug where if you tried to use a bribe to keep someone on for overtime, it just crashed the game, and he still had a bribe, which shows you how well my game was going. <laughs> still had a bribe in overtime. <laughs> Hmm. Still counts. <laughs> so we never got to find out uh, who won the toss in overtime. Yeah, that's that's pretty bad to leave yourself GFIs against so few. I guess he hasn't got that many. He hasn't got that many chaos. To be fair. Oh, well, there we go. It's just two GFIs, then, isn't it? No, it was a, it was rough, Satterfield. Both of those. I genuinely can't remember though whether it was my third or fourth cup with the boots. I think it might be in the fourth. Oh. Wow! What a, I can't kind of can't believe that. Just like a normal game, wasn't it? I guess he did he he did get unlucky and fail the one turn and uh, also scored early. Um, it's not, no, it's not, it, it, it was bad play that failed the one turn. Let's just yes. be clear. Yes, 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 yes. Sorry. Sorry, it was bad play that he failed the one turn. Yes, that's correct. But also, it was still unlucky. <laughs> but yes, it was It was bad play that he, play, that he failed the one turn. And then, uh, But like, you can't hope for that, right? At the start of the game, you think, how do you win? This is the chaos. And you just hope he gets unlucky in the one turn. You wouldn't imagine he would just throw a pass for add an extra 2 plus for no reason and add an extra GFI for no reason. You would just think, well, maybe he'll get unlucky and fail the one turn. 
Um, and then maybe he'll just score randomly early for no reason. Yeah. And then both of those things happen. So there you go. Congratulations, Hesse. Commiserations, Moose Ford. <laughs> Thank you very much, Artemis and Fime. Absolutely glorious. It's always a pleasure to be here. Hey. <laughs> that's my that's my sign off. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.